YouTube. I just bought this Glacier Bay water dispenser and I'm making this video because I could not find one freaking video to tell me how to set it up. And if you look at your instructions, they're kind of like Ikea, so they're only photos. So you are gonna go on this journey with me and help me set this up. I have the top load dispenser. Both I'm sure are great. The only reason why I went with the top load is because the bottom load one has a hose that it sticks in and the thought of having to clean that was not um, desirable. So let's get this going. So the first thing I made sure I did was I did not plug it in right away and I have had this standing up for a couple of days only because I didn't know if this was like a refrigerator and it's not supposed to be on its side when you first turn it on because I know it can fry certain things. And also I've been out of town, so it's kind of just been on my to-do list. So the first thing you do is you remove this top part out. And then you also remove this inner part. Uh-oh, it's like a turn. So with this part, you have to be a little forceful. Um, it's not a spin or anything, it's just a straight out. So the next part is to get our four cups of hot water and four cups of vinegar ready. Alrighty, so water is boiled and now I'm just measuring out my vinegar. And then I will add it to the pot and then we'll pour it in the dispenser. So I'm pouring in the two cups of vinegar into the water I just boiled, which is four cups of water. And now we're gonna pour this into the dispenser. Now we're just adding that hot water vinegar mixture slowly so you don't hit yourself with hot water. Look at all that steamy cleanness. Now to the cold side. Alrighty, so now that we've drained out of the hot side and the cold side, we're gonna get the rest of the water out through this drain valve right here on the back. Um, it's also titled in the manual, which was really helpful for us because it looks just like a random knob, but this is where we're gonna drain the remainder of the water. Just make sure that you do not skip this step. Um, we had a dispenser before this one and we actually had to return it because we didn't do the setup correctly and this is definitely a step that we missed. So please do not forget to drain the remainder of the water on the back side. Alrighty, and now we use fresh water to filter out the vinegar water. Um, I'm sure you could probably use your tap, but we live in Nevada so our water is gross and this will be the last plastic bottle that we are using. that's about where it was when we filled up with the hot water. Alrighty, so now we have all the water drained out and we're just gonna put back the last two parts that we took off in the beginning. So this one you have to be kind of forceful with. I can't remember which hole it went on. The hole? No, it goes on the thing that's slightly sticking up. There we go. So there's a hole on the left side and then there's like a tube that's sticking up. That's what you put it on. And then this part, which I think is the easy load part. Snap this one right here. Tighten. And we're good to go. Alrighty, so we have the dispenser plugged in and we think we did it correctly because now it's doing like a humming like a refrigerator would do and there's also some kind of light showing that we did not get originally. So, woohoo. <laughs> oh, am I going? Oh, so setup is complete. 
I definitely encourage everybody to switch to a water dispenser um, just to help save our planet. My boyfriend and I were each going through a gallon a day and that's just a lot of plastic. So do your part and get a water dispenser. <laughs>